All right. It's in the 30s this morning. We are not done. We ran into our hiccup. Our painter guy had a problem with his nozzle, so we did not get to finish painting the building yesterday. Or we, I say we. It was he. We're not painting. We're done. We did all the prepping. Uh, so hopefully that'll be done sometime this week. And he says it'll be done before snow flies. In the meantime, we're on our way to Lowe's to get things because we're going to work on the upstairs unit and set up our stick insect habitat. So we'll show you how that goes. I told you it was in the 30s, right? This is how Alaskans pump gas in yeah. the 30s. Tank top. Hey, get that Nathan. Shorts. Pick it up, show it to me. Breakfast of champions. Give us your tongue. Just kidding. We got him a McRib, well, a holiday rib sandwich too, right? Gotta have good nutrition in there. With a slushy. With a slushy. Healthy habits for the doolies. Did you get your free apple? No. Sweet. God bless Fred Meyer. He's a builder, not the one. How long have you been at it, like? Two seconds. Pretty much 15 seconds. Oh, boy. Bye, bye bye. So last week I was scrubbing walls, scraping paint. This week I'm scrubbing walls, cleaning. I'm really tired of landlording. Monotonous job. Always, you know, tired of working two jobs, three jobs, CF, daycare, and uh, man. It's monotonous jobs. I always get the monotonous jobs. But we're doing it as a family. It doesn't matter how nice the tenants leave their unit. I mean, these people were really great renters. They cleaned up really well, but it's still always things to clean up. Andrew's replacing lights. <sighs> Such is the job. Can you tell the world about it? No. <laughs> what did Daddy say about those? They're the worst design ever. Worst designed wire strippers ever.
thing we didn't try to paint today. It's raining. What are we gonna look for? Cars. What do our bugs need? Oh, leaves. Leaves. What kind of leaves? Do you remember? Ivy. Ivy. They might be hard to find. We're gonna look for some sort of safe plant to put in our little tiny terrarium for. What are their names? <laughs> Big stick and little stick. Big stick and little stick. Oops. So it's I think so this That's our truck. It jerks. We're trying to figure out why. Perhaps it's low transmission fluid. All right. So we were told that the stick insects eat ivy or mint, two very different things. So we went to look for a live ivy plant to put in our little box. We went to three different stores. No one in Alaska carries live ivy. I'm sure somebody somewhere does, but we couldn't find any. Well, and we, so I forgot we got this. One. We got this. It is officially. Let go, let go. Can't even see it. Four inch tropics. Oh, I can't get it to focus. Four inch tropics. It won't focus. Anyway, it's a cute little fern. It's small enough. I assume that insects are smart enough to know what they can and can't eat. They're not like children that eat Everything. anything. <laughs> Everything. And uh, we got mint. They eat raspberry leaves. And we have those for now until winter. Dumb. And they eat romaine dumb, lettuce. Dumb, dumb. So I'm dumb, sure they eat a variety of things. Dumb, We're going to put this in our little habitat. We had just dumb, some dumb, dried dumb, leaves dumb. and some things in there for temporary. And it should look really nice when we're done. For big stick and little stick. And then flash. And flash. No, no, no. no big stick and little stick and leave me alone. And leave me alone. This That's, is leave me alone. And my dad's guy in um, EverQuest, his name was leave me alone. That's right. This is a stick bug. He is big stick, and I have a little ones at the. Look, you're not going into my salt. <laughs> I don't want you going. They're pretty in. fun. Big stick only has one antenna, so we're curious to know if he's gonna grow another one. See, he only Back. has, he only has one antenna, but he's not dead. No, definitely not dead at all. All right, yeah. this is our new habitat. And we we had a little box. Enough. Yep, there, hang on. We turned it on its side to make it tall because we've heard that stick insects need a tall habitat to shed. And I just put a plant in here. Some people just put paper towel down. I'm going to leave the dirt like this and see if it works okay. I put some tape. I double sticked it so it won't be sticky for the bugs. And um, that'll keep the dirt from falling out when we take our lid off the front. It was, you know, obviously designed to go this way. It's got a little flap. I had to tape the holes in the inside because little stick is so tiny. He'll get right through those. He'll go like, yeah, and we'll make sure that they out. get air. And then we're going to do a test. I'm going to put one raspberry leaf in there, a nice big one, and one mint sprig, and we'll see which one they like more. So we'll put them in there, and then we'll show you. So here is the mint leaf, and where's there's st big stick. Hey, where's mint stick small? Where's stick mini and stick big? And then you can see through the front, or the back, really. And it's, yeah. So it opens down when we want to get in there. I poked holes in the plastic with the tape that I put in there to make sure that there's room. And let's just and you see. Oh, there's baby stick. Mini little stick. And his name. He's right here on this on a stick. One's called baby stick and one's called. This really does not like to focus on him. Anyway, it's just a cute little habitat. For them to live in. For them to live in. It's really pretty from the back. And, uh,. It kind of looks like a jungle. I think it's going to work. You like it? Yeah. All right. All right. We've gone shopping. We're finished working. We're cooking dinner. We're hoping for a 7 o'clock dinner. I'm going to do CPT with Nathan while dinner cooks. We've got things started on the stove. You can see here we have ribs boiling. I'm uh, boiling some water to... Uh, soft boil those beautiful green eggs that we got from uh, Cousin's Farm for sauce grabiche, which will be perfect for our steamed artichoke. Should be a fantastic dinner. We'll show it all to you uh, when it's done. Also, I will make sure that there's a link to the sauce grabiche in the information below. Thanks.
Show me it's done. Okay. Crazy. What are those? Artichoke. Artichoke. Beans. And I got my big pile of ones I ate. Yeah. Sauce for biche. I have chips. And this is our pasta salad using hard salami. This is the chips I got from the gas station. Yeah. Hard salami and uh, fontina cheese. Small tomatoes. Not enough kalamata olives. We didn't have enough. And in case you wonder, goosh, 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 goosh. That's the amount of dressing you should put in there. <laughs> this is. <laughs> <laughs> Breaded pork chops. I showed you a picture of it earlier. And onion rings. And we don't have anything together on the table because, you know, we're kind of crazy and chaotic. And look at that. Seven o'clock dinner, right? Right on time. And uh, some french fries. So this is a lot of food, but it'll be... I like my food. Yeah? It's yummy. And we'll eat leftovers for the next few days, right? <laughs> Yeah. All right. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. All right. I know I already said good night, but I'm pretty sure that a lot of you watched this video this evening and said, holy cow, their house is chaotic. And I could totally get that. I could totally understand that. Uh, one of the things to consider is that we do live in a rather small apartment um, and that we do daycare. So there's, you know, kids stuff. The same way that you would walk into a preschool room, you wouldn't think about how busy the room is. But if you sit in it and look at all the things that they put in a preschool room, artwork and lights and posters and kids' toys, just toys. It's very kind of chaotic. But the same goes for our kitchen. You know, there's only there's three of us. We're busy cooking a bunch of stuff. Um, what might be the most interesting is that we've been running our food blog for several years now. And... Everything we've done, we've done in that junky little kitchen that's very full. And at times when we've got eight children and um, middle of the day and somebody's trying to cook lunch and somebody's trying to put together a recipe. And uh, I guess I'm, I'm apologizing for the mess, but I'm also not apologizing because we're a regular family in a home that's very lived in. And one of the things that is the most important to me about semi-serious chefs is that people understand that you can make amazing food in your own circumstances. If you live in a nice house with a beautiful kitchen and all of the resources, or if you live in a junky little apartment with eight little kids, or if you live in an RV, um, anything that we make can be made. You know, it's not made, it's no, there's no special tricks. We use pots and pans. We don't have a microwave. We use regular run-of-the-mill ingredients. Uh, some of them are special, but they're not particular blends that you have to buy from a particular store pay a lot of money for and so uh certainly for anybody who is quick to say what a chaotic looking house i could never cook there i could never deal with that you know or why don't they have you know the meal on the table to sit together you know we have we have a lot of life here you can... you're my son we're full of life. It's always going on, and it means that our kitchen's not always clean, and we're not necessarily clean, but it's full. Our house is full, and I'm okay with that. I do look forward to a time when we maybe have a different job and a different lifestyle, and that will be great, but in the meantime, I'm not going to brag about how full and how messy and chaotic my home is, but it's... I seem to have hit a hiccup. <laughs> Check back in a few. Okay, I will. <laughs> the Xbox is talking to me. Anyway, uh, I guess it's a shout out to anybody else, to everyone out there, that you can that um, you can do amazing things no matter what your circumstances are. If you like to cook, you can cook amazing food no matter what your circumstances are. And uh, don't be quick to judge because a full house is also a full house of of love and life, right? Yeah. Yeah, spending time together and and I'm drinking soda. I'm playing the game. <laughs> that you are. Do you want to say goodnight? Good night. Good night. Bye bye.